Just a minute for people to filter in. Jimmy. That's just about everybody. So, hello, welcome, welcome to the, the Camp Carpenter breakout. Oh my gosh, my computer is doing some crazy things here. Hold on. All right, that should help a little bit. Cool. Um, welcome. Uh, so we just talked a bit about the the registration system. Um, I was gonna leave a little bit of time to. To hit on them, I think we hit most of the big questions. Um, the the key things that I wanted to highlight that were somewhat new information to me: free adults are getting entered as adults, paid adults are getting entered as chaperones. Um, it's apparently the the analog there, and uh, I'll work on getting some some updates to our program guide that I'll show you in a minute that uh, speak to that as well. Uh, the den chief piece we know isn't quite in there yet, uh, and that should be in hopefully sometime this week, as we just heard. And the other bit that I don't believe is quite fully functional there yet is the tiger parent piece uh, that I will mark, flag, and uh, ask about this week. So I'll start getting that process moving. Um, otherwise, it's that overnight camp, Manchester Granite Base Camp, and uh, filtering in through there. So. Uh, were there any other questions about the registration system or carpenter specific or granite base camp specific questions in there? Hey, Brett, I have a question. I'm from PAC 11 in Litchfield, and this is my first time being a camp coordinator. And admittedly, I was late today. Um, but until we pay a deposit, there's nothing we should be telling you, like, hey, we're looking at this week for our pack, right? Should I be communicating that before we get to the point of? Putting in a deposit. Yeah, so there's not a hard and fast one uh, for that. Nothing that's uh, that's necessary. Uh, we've in the past been sort of keeping track of just to to see ahead of time. But okay, uh, at this point, once you go into register, you'll be able to select a week. Um, and I would say the only issue that might be there is if you're looking at a weekend, there's not enough spots in the week, sort of according to the system. In which case, reach out to us, and we'll um, either try and bounce back and see if we can shift a week or if uh, we can make sure that we have room or whatever. Is it kind of like get work on getting in our deposit early in our commitments and that's our best chance at making sure we can go for the week that we want? Or can I tell you, like, send you a note, this is what we're thinking, this many scouts or not until deposit? You could do that too. You could do that too. Okay. I'll um, do that. I, I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. Um, Unless everyone decided to pile into one week. Sure. Of course. Who knows? <laughs> cool. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, is there a mechanism for splitting uh, for leaders that split the week? I don't believe the system currently has a mechanism for leaders that split the week. That is the next thing going on my list of questions to ask this week. Um, so, they're on my list. I have a quick question. Yes. Um, is early bird running the same as years past or so on the website, it looks like the 580 is due for the $20 discount by April 1st. Is that true? No. So the way the, it's running, it should be running the way it has in years past, or if you have the deposit in by the end of March, by April 1st, then you'll qualify for the early bird discount. Um, and then the balance due later down the road. Um, so you shouldn't have to have the full payment due by that. That should be deposited okay. and then full payment awesome. due by the end of May. Thank you. And uh, if folks hadn't seen it yet or if it hadn't made its way through the rounds, I'm going to post a link to it here, the program guide, um, a renamed, revamped leader guide. And this is our, our 
leader slash parent guide. Uh, got a couple more things in there that are a little bit more um, parent friendly or parent information towards the beginning. Um, I'm sure there's still more we could do in that front and uh, I certainly welcome any feedback along with that. But uh, this is one the one guide to, to rule them all this year. Um, do share screen. And I won't go through through all of it every page because there's lots of pages, but uh, much of it is is very similar uh, with some updates for um, the registration system and, and a couple of the bits that we knew of and uh, so on from there. So we got our fancy table of contents. Um, YPT again is there at the forefront. Um, there are some of you may have seen a slight change to uh, some youth protection registration requirements and leader requirements. Uh, effective in September. So I haven't marked those changes here because they come after camp and uh, we more or less already require much of uh, what they have if I'm remembering right. Um, then a quick blurb about uh, the program. So our overnight camp program, uh, which is uh, organized by the PAC, uh, our day camp programs, which are registered for individually and our family camp programs that are um, Yes, by family. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, our family camp programs that are by family, uh, as well as dates and rates for each of those. Uh, I have to double check on the family camp dates. I think the system online has slightly different dates. Uh, and so we will solve that discrepancy also on my list to do this week. It's vacation week, so I get to put lots of things onto my list. Uh, and that link for registration. Uh, from here. There's a few different ways you can get to it from that experience based camp page. Uh, this is the one that I found that landed and gave you the option to get to all of those most quickly. So that's the, the link I've been, I've been sharing around from there. Uh, the important dates similar to, uh, to in the past, we've got the deposit deadline and the full payment deadline. These camp director chat meetings, which are wonderful resources, and it's great to have you all here. And then uh, the map now added in with our, our ACA accreditation sticker on it. You have to tilt your head a little bit to, to see it in the portrait, but it's all good. Uh, our theme this year under the big top, and uh, much of this is, is eerily similar to two years past. Um, I don't think we made any major huge changes. Um, some information about the programs, some information about getting ready. to some packing lists for campers and for the packs. Thank you. Oh, uh, some information about getting to camp, about arriving to camp uh, in medical services, medical information. Um, a couple things that are slightly different. Our vaccination policy was updated sort of in July of last summer, sort of early mid season. And so that's been updated and reflected here. And as far as Dispensing medications. I think we talked about a couple months ago. Our, our council medical supervisor is encouraging, strongly encouraging people to look at uh, getting pill packs, especially people with multiple medications. Um, the sort of pre packed uh, individual things from the pharmacy, um, not the in personal organizers. Um, those we can't take, we need original packaging, but those pill packs that are sort of pre dosed uh, are original packaging from the pharmacy. So um, that is a, an option that we're encouraging people to explore for the summer. And some more information about staying at camp and, and so on, which is all eerily similar to years past. So that is uh, that is online now. You should see that link in the chat. Uh, we posted that on Facebook and we're working on getting it updated on the website as well. Um, and as always, if there's anything missing or wrong there, please, please let us know. Uh, is there still a sleeve requirement for the swimsuits? I did also update with our swim policy that went out last summer. And it just says a swim shirt is all that the policy says to me. So I don't see any additional requirement that says it you know must be sleeved or, or not be sleeved. And I don't know if Catherine is on this breakout of the meeting or the other one. It's like on the other one now. Yeah, kind of that wasn't one. that wasn't an aquatics committee thing though. Um I don't know that it was there was a sleeve requirement to it. It was just a swim shirt. 
Um, and it, I would assume, having not discussed it, that it is still in effect for this summer. I'm not aware of any any sleep or sleep length requirements for this. No. Any other questions on is the cost of the adult helper chaperone for the pack or how many week? Um, so the and and that's where the the adult chaperone split uh, is mirroring a, a free adult versus a paid adult. So for each pack that's coming for overnight camp, um, you get two free leaders um, since you're required to have a minimum of two leaders uh, for YPT. That's why we build that in, and then additional adults. Uh, who would be the chaperones in the registration system are 230 for the week. Toby has the misfortune of having me as his assistant cub master. So there's already a plan where we're talking about the leaders and, and who's paying for what on our end. So we'll we'll make sure you know. But that is a good question in general. Brett, do you know if there if base camp is offering any additional in person den sheep trainings before the camping season? I don't know if that would fall in your world or not. I don't know through base camp if there's a plan to do that. Are you asking about the like the national BSA den chief training to be a den chief for the year round, or you ask for the summer camp be a den chief at summer camp? Is that is there different? Rule for so that? we've done a den chief overnight and we are planning on doing that again this year um june 10th to 11th i believe is the date that's sticking in my head um where we as a prepare to be a den chief at camp uh sort of training where we wow. talk about make sure they know where things are in camp talk about how they can be helpful to you all as pack leaders and not just another camper for you all to be watching uh, as pack leaders uh, but we don't cover the um BSA's den chief position training requirements. Um, that's a separate training. I don't know. It does look like it's offered online. So maybe yeah. between the online training and then that in person at Camp Carpenter would be great. Will there be a cost associated with that weekend? Uh, there will be, and I don't know what it is off the top of my head yet. Okay, cool. Thanks, Brett. Um, as far as uh, staffing, uh, we are, you know, in the process of hiring, getting people put together for the season. Um, our team is coming together. We're we're filling holes, but uh, we definitely still are on the lookout for folks. So uh, anyone you know, especially anyone over eighteen, especially anyone over twenty-one who might be interested in uh, helping out for uh, the season or part of the season, um, let us know. Uh, I my plan is to start getting information back out to people who have applied. So I know a couple of people have been asking uh, sometime this week uh, is my goal to start getting information pushed back out um, to make that happen. Uh, sort of related to that and sort of related to overnight camp. Um, I am optimistic at this point, uh, not totally finalized, but optimistic at this point that we'll be able to be offering a provisional program this summer. Um, probably for several weeks, maybe not quite for every week. Um, some of those details still to be finalized, but. Uh, it does look like we are probably going to be able to pull that together um, to be determined on uh, registration for that. That's also on my list to ask about. And uh, we'll be starting to push information out about that. So if you have scouts in your packs or if you are pack is not quite able to get a whole team of people together, uh, scouts in your pack aren't able to come with your pack for the week, scouts in your pack want to come for more than one week. Um, all great opportunities to look at the provisional program where we are providing leadership uh, either from our staff or volunteers and um, putting together a, a mod podge pack from people who are, are interested in signing up for that. So um, look out for details on that. Hopefully in the in the near future, it does sound like we're, we're going to be able to put that together. Any news on Metform Access for packs? I have no news on Metform Access four packs, um, unless Brendan has any news. I do not, unfortunately. That, you, you should also add that to your list. I 
checklist for our meeting tomorrow is getting longer by the minute. It's <laughs> um, yes, I will start asking more about that. Uh, my understanding was that that piece was sort of in the next sprint for developments. Hopefully that means it will be developed soon. The best way to request a favorite campsite. That's a fantastic question. Um, you can either email me or Alex Ager, alex.ager, A-L-E-X dot A-G-E-R at dwccamping.org um, with your request. And if you email it to me, I will forward it to Alex. That's, uh, we'll be making those decisions as we get closer to camp. Campsite assignments, we typically start figuring out a couple weeks before each session um, just to make sure everyone sort of fits in the right places. We try and match those requests as much as we can, but uh, we're going to first make sure that we can get everyone to fit and then go from there. Um, I do have that information from requests submitted for last year. Yes. So if you put a request in on the reservation form from last summer, I do have that information. We'll be working off of that. If it's changed since then, or if you weren't sure, feel free to send us another email and we'll start putting it into queue. The Weather Rock says I should add to my list. The Weather Rock is a big fan of lists. Fantastic questions, fantastic questions. In case we missed it, I think the number currently is 133 or 133 days away. From the uh, first day of overnight camp at Carpenter. So we're we're very excited. We're we're getting there. Camp school session, camp, camp school season is already already in full force. I don't think anyone from uh, the Carpenter team has gone yet, but I believe Drew was down at a uh, Drew and um, Alyssa were down at Sea Base a few weeks ago. Any other questions on any things? Those are most of the main things I wanted to touch on tonight. Yes. That's good practice, good practice. Caps lock, very helpful for practicing the camp chair. My understanding is that it's being encouraged. Um, that's my understanding. Sunscreen and bug spray is not a list. Sunscreen and bug spray should very probably be on the list. And I just didn't notice that. Uh, sunscreen. I just, after so many summers at camp, have just become immune to, <laughs> to the bugs. I, I wait until the campers arrive, the bugs all go chase the campers, and I dart around and hide behind them. It works great. <laughs> um, yes, yes, they do. Uh, yes, I will work that into my next revision of that packing list. I wish we eradicated the bugs. I saw once upon a time, I saw like a laser bug thing. It was it was like a little little computer controlled. It saw a mosquito and it like shot a laser at it to like shoot them out. And it looked amazing. I, I wanna I wanna get some of those. I think that would be very effective for the council ring. Right. We can't afford that. You know that. That's silly. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll play around with an Arduino and see what happens. <laughs> Um, and a lot of that stuff, uh, if your if your pack doesn't have some of that like first aid stuff on hand, will will be well stocked up in the health lodge as well. So, salt gun. <laughs> I think uh, what we had in the guide. I think our recommendation was. Uh, Fifty to sixty dollars ish, um, depending on how many sugary things you want them to to be able to purchase a day. 
um, five days, five or six days in camp. Um, they have ten dollars or so a, a day. That's enough to get a to get a slushy and something else, and, and maybe a couple trinkets as they as they go along. If anyone has recommendations for super cool carpenter merch to get in the trading post, uh, let me know. I do need to order more of that this summer. There's a limited supply of um, posters and uh, mugs, I think, currently. So. Bring their entire allowance. But definitely slushies, definitely slushies. Uh, I'm I'm pushing to get a second slushy machine so that we can have four slushy flavors at a time. That's that's my dream at the moment. Um, maybe one of them could even be one of the caffeinated flavors they carry, which would be super super cool. Um, although maybe we wouldn't give that to the campers uh, to, to be determined. Uh, and um, last summer we had the four colors of mugs. Uh, my plan this summer is to get five colors of mugs uh, once we get a, a theme image, which is the other thing that's going on my list for this week. Yeah, tiger's blood. We, we could have the tiger's blood and the blue razzmatazz going all the time and cycle through to other flavors. That would be very, very cool. Yeah, and that's a, I'll highlight that one. That's a, a great tip. Um, a, a lot of packs do that where the, the leaders will hold on to the spending money for the week and sort of give scouts their spending money for the day um, that, you know, 10, 10 or $20 or, you know, however much. And when they spend through that, then they can go to the leader and ask for, for more of it. It helps limit uh, how much uh, might go missing uh, or just be spent all at once. <laughs> Great suggestions. That's definitely valuable information. That's worth knowing. That's that's a compelling reason to A, get another machine, and B, get the caffeinated flavors. I would probably also spend a lot on, <laughs> on caffeinated slushies. Um, actually, that's, that's 60 bucks per day, right, Matthew? <laughs> If the Frazzle website can load quickly. That depends on uh, the day. That's fair. That's fair. That's a oh, good okay. answer. So they have, they, they that have that might go up or down based <laughs> on uh, how things go. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, they have four caffeinated flavors. There is limeade energy, smashberry energy, orange cream energy, and pina colada energy. All of them. All of which sounds very good. <laughs> So, possibly. You may need more slushy I'll machines. See, I'll see what I can do. I love looking at the Frazzle materials because they, they recommend you just have a wall full of Frazzle machines at all times. <laughs> um, I don't think that was a thing that happened. And, uh, <laughs> it would be a lot of slushies, you right? We do have more than slushies, though. Although you need a bigger adult cup. Um, the plan for the, the slushy mugs will be the, the similar uh, color of the day um, mug. So if you have this year's mug in the color of the day, you'll get a, a slight discount on uh, additional slushy refills for that day. Person seems both excited and terrified at the same time. We did that too many times during COVID. We know we can't sing on Zoom. It does not work well. As, as someone who had numerous chorus rehearsals on Zoom, I, I remember similar, <laughs> similar events. Uh, day pass, like the cinch bags. Um, we have had some of those. I think we're, we're running light on them, but it's worth looking into. 
I only have the meeting to, tomorrow scheduled for an hour. It may go longer. We'll, we'll run through quick what we can. I know the harmonicas are all of the, the leader's favorite thing. Um, <laughs> you got to get rid of the yo-yos. Got to get rid of the yo-yos. I think we took away more yo-yos yet last year than uh, I was willing to. Yeah. I, I could see that. Yeah. There's probably some number of, of scouts who are uh, using yo-yos as yo-yos and among our younger scouts, I'm imagining there are not many of them. <laughs> That's good to know. That's good to know. Any other questions? Any other things folks to have? Awesome. Well, uh, I will certainly stick around for a few more minutes in case there are any lingering questions that come up, but um, that's most of the key information I had for this week. Uh, I'll post the link to the leader's guide one more time here. Uh, if you want to grab it on the way out, as well as uh, the campership form. Um, and talking this up as uh, I've been around to PAC meetings, at least for promos, um, that uh, if you have any families who you know think they might need some assistance, uh, even if they're, they're not sure, um, I would encourage them to go ahead and fill out a campership application. Um, worst case scenario is uh, they, that they might say no, but I think we typically try to help out wherever we can. So um, definitely worth getting that information passed along. Uh, the specialty activities were, I have to remember what I listed as specialty activities. Uh, whittling chip, those are typically scheduled. Um, and so those will show up on the program choice form that should be out early April. So we'll try and get those out to units. Kristen says yes, early April. So, and uh, I'll put my email here too. Uh, I think people probably have it already. I make sure I spell it right. Uh, I think I spelled that correctly. Uh, if you have questions uh, now or that come up later, please feel free to email me. I uh, got a little behind in the last couple of weeks of school, but I've caught up a bit today and uh, I'm going to continue pushing forward through that uh, over the next couple of days uh, while helping out at a vacation day camp, which will be also very, very exciting. Will be great. Uh, if you have questions that come up, please, please feel free to email me and I'll Try and answer them as quickly as I can, or get uh, get the answers to them from other places as quickly as I can. Try to make it happen. But otherwise, thank you all for taking your time to learn more about camp and uh, help get ready for the season. Uh, we certainly appreciate it, and thank you for all you do for scouting. You saw it, Kristen. Um, I'll probably forget. So email me. I'll put my email down. I'm on the council page. I'm not putting my email in. If you need to find me, you can find me. Yeah, I'm not. We're not as cool as you, or I'm not. I think Brett is on there too. So I'm not as cool as y'all. You get some like outro music. It is public domain. It's Scott Joplin. It's all good. It's true. It's true. We're good. <laughs> See you, Toby. I'm going to have that stuck in my head all night, Brett.
second. Stop recording.